Hi everyone and welcome to another video. We got these super cute plushies at home. This is my son's and this is mine. And I mean, look how cute they are. Okay, I need to calm down. Um, I thought it would be cool to make miniature versions of those two <laughs> out of polymer clay. And maybe I could also build a tank aquarium thingy. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> I think axolotl are just so weird, but also such cute creatures at the same time. I mean, they kind of look like tiny dragons or like Pokemon. I think it's just so cool. And they also have these super cool regenerating superpowers, which is awesome. I watched some uh, documentaries about axolotls and I am so in love and I'm so fascinated by these creatures. It's so cool. And they also come in different colors, like yellowish, pink, black, brown. I think they are so beautiful. By the way, I loved catching axolotl in Minecraft. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I used to do that a lot. But now I don't have time to play Minecraft anymore. So yeah, here I'm making a tiny axolotl. This one is yellow. And um, as you can see, it is very simple, very easy to make. So maybe if you have kids or if you're a teacher or something, you could make this with kids as well because it's very easy. Maybe slightly bigger because, yeah, I tried to make it as tiny as possible. But I think this could be really fun to make with kids. I use a piece of wire to stabilize everything. And as you can see, I'm holding the wire and not the axolotl itself or the polymer clay because uh, when it's that tiny and it was kind of warm in my apartment, um, it can be very hard not to squish everything. And now I'm making these, oh gosh, what are they called? I don't know, I think they're breathing with these thingies. I'm not sure what they're called. Maybe I knew it, but I forgot. <laughs> um, because actually I watched some documentaries, but I can't remember the name of these thingies. So the yellow one is done and I made him a friend in some minty bluish colors and then I baked them for around about 30 minutes. Um, yeah. So now you can see how I'm removing the dust off the axolotl. I don't know why but the yellow clay was so sticky that yeah there was a lot of dust and dirt on it. So I'm using nail polish remover and also a knife to kind of scratch it off. And uh, yeah, it helped a bit at least. <laughs> so here I'm using a glass bottle again, just like last time. But last time um, I was a bit frustrated with the lid because it doesn't look very nice. Um, I think it looks kind of boring. And uh, someone in the comments said that I just should just turn it around and use the lid as the bottom. And I thought that was just such a clever idea. Yeah, it just looks like a fish tank that way. So that's what I'm doing. I'm turning it around and the lid is the bottom and the rest is the top. And then I made some interior, let's say like that. Like for example, a starfish and some underwater plants and also some corals and stuff. I'm texturing everything a bit and then I'm putting it inside the bottle. And uh, yeah, I thought it would work this way, but after baking everything, it fell off, so I needed to use some super glue to fix it. And I used pastel colors of the brand Fimo. I think those colors are just so cool and it matches the axolotl, so yeah, I'm very happy with the colors and how it turned out. And they didn't change after baking them. I love that. And uh, here's my attempt to make a coral. <laughs> it looks kind of weird, I admit, but yeah, I'm okay with it. Now the axolotl needs something to stand on, to swim on, to sit on, kind of. So I made a tiny island, kind of. 
I just needed to make sure that it fits in inside the bottle. Again, making sure that everything fits and then I baked it and then we can put everything together. So here's the axolotl on the sandy island. And here's the comparison to the two plushies. I love it. I think it's so cute. And uh, now I'm just putting it inside the bottle and I try to be very, very careful so that nothing breaks or gets lost inside. And then I used some super glue and uh, yeah, used the lid as the bottom, as I said. Tell me what you think about this creation in the comments. I know it's rather simple. It's nothing too fancy. It's more kawaii kind of. And I love the contrast of making serious stuff with a lot of details, but also sometimes I just love to make kawaii stuff like that. Um, yeah, tell me what you think about that in the comments down below. If I hope you also like videos like this. Um, yeah, but I'm excited to read your feedback. Thank you all for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.